read something that was in my first book by Dr. Benjamin Mays. He was a great man, great motivator. One of the mentors of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Dr. Benjamin Isaiah Mays says, it must be borne in mind that the tragedy of life does not lie in not reaching your goals. The tragedy lies in not having any goals to reach. It isn't a calamity to die with dreams unfulfilled, but it is a calamity not to dream. It's not a disaster to be unable to capture your ideas, but it is a disaster to have no ideas to capture. It's not a disgrace not to reach for the stars, but it is a disgrace to have no stars to reach. I say you got goals and dreams, things that you're reaching for, things that will make you stretch, things that will challenge you. I say, don't lose that passion and that drive for life. It will keep you alive. I'm telling you what I know. Doctors looked at me eight years ago and said, you have cancer. Eight years ago, they gave me two and a half years. I was still here. I told my group of speakers that I trained, I said, I'm going to beat this and this is a year. All of them said, okay, Lessa, we believe you, man. We, we're believing in you. And then they start calling the person who manages my speaking program and say, will we get a free fund when he dies? <laughs> because they were believing the numbers. Because the PSA... So one to four is normal, 119, that's serious. I went to the MD Anderson, which is number one in the world. Sloan Kettering, Johns Hopkins, Howard University. Went to all type of doctors and urologists and oncologists. And they said, Mr. Brown, I'm sorry, young man, but um, we've done all we can do. And let me share something with you. Write this down. Work on yourself. See, the people that are going to reach their goals and dreams, not only do they have compelling reasons that drive them, because the thing that drove me, that kept me ahead of everybody else, I had some compelling reasons of why I was selling television sets no money down. I had some compelling reasons that I'd go to a door at 10 o'clock at night and knock on the door, hello, yes, who is that? Hi, would you like to buy a nice working television set no money down? Boy, do you know what time it is? Yes, I do. It's 10 o'clock at night, and I take care of my mama, and I'm going to sell a television set tonight to somebody, and it might as well be you. <laughs> and finally, somebody said, fool, come on in here. It better be a good one. <laughs>